Hi, everybody, and uh, happy uh, Peter F. Yacht Club virtual regatta. I'm Frances Boyle, and I'm going to read two poems that were published this year. First one is from the print magazine Prairie Fire, and uh, it is called The Whole Tall World. A column of light, not steady, but scintillating. Listen for its faint scratchiness, its syncopated silences, its airy breathing. Exhalation through pores, the inhalation of mountains and the sea's unceasing bellow lungs. Surf like horses that rear and mane shake, rush in, retreat, and spume a spiraling cylinder a rising, a lifting, finest droplets hovering on the air's surface. What tuning will bring me past static to clarity, that thrum of silence, the voices chiming, twining, a braiding of sound within that space between the breathing, behind the exhale, pulling the inhale into animate energy, that silent moment that might be death, but for the animal compulsion, willing our squeeze box lungs to echo ocean and breathe. And the second poem is one that Jason Christie was kind enough to publish in his online magazine called Nobody. Uh, my poem is called Abby. Life in a base. A life in abeyance, you kneel in obeisance to the muse, take an oblong route. Try to observe the calling voice, the memories. Road sounds Doppler back and through them, a ricochet spring-loaded. Above the trees crowns, the crows, their renown among birds, the crenellated hollows they rest in, they nest in. Take a holistic view as the cassocked marksman lines up his shots. Not the blackbirds, but black and white ones. He says they destroy corn, kill kittens. Their tail flash of teal, target. Rise up like the birds, like a balloon on its tether. Watch for the weather change, the crisped wind, the crinkle of poplar leaves, branches striated as clouds pile up. Like the birds leaving, syncopated and not synchronized, tufts of crabgrass wave, clover, pink and white dots, the lawn, morning's abrupt rain still on the blades like splintered glass, the bird song arresting, you abstain from abstraction. In the windbreak, a soft shape of feathers or fur. Thank you very much and happy holidays.